Hey, this is Sridhar from WPDevDesign.com. In this screencast, uh, I'm going to talk about customizing the comment form element in Oxygen. By default, it's going to look like this, and it does not really say what these fields are. So the reason for that is that these labels, uh, which should, which actually are present above the input fields, are hidden. So if I inspect this with uh, Chrome's inspector. There is this label and you can see that all the labels are set to display none. So if I uncheck this, uh, it clearly shows what these inputs are. Comment, name, email, website and this. So that's before and this is after. Okay. So what we need to do is to add a new CSS rule. And there are several ways in which you can do this for this selector. So for all the labels inside the comment form, you want to set the display to block. So this is one way of doing it. I'm going to go to selectors inside the oxygen editor and I'm going to click on add selector and paste that in and press OK. I'll go to advanced layout and set the display to block. OK, so as soon as I do that, you can see immediately that uh, the label in this uh, comment form has appeared. So I'm going to save it, go back and reload. Okay, let me just do it in the incognito mode where I can see all the fields because I'm not logged in as an admin. Okay, so now we have all the labels, but as you can see this one, uh, the input form, the input checkbox, this has a width of 100% so it's basically pushing the label down. So what we need to do is um, for this particular, oh, that's just the name, sorry. So the ID, that's the ID of this element. So I'm gonna go back and add a new selector for that element and I'll set the width to auto. So I'll go to size and spacing and I'll set the width to auto. By default, it is 100%. So I'm setting it to auto and I will also set a margin to the right of say 10 pixels. So now when I save it and reload, okay, so the changes that we have applied did take effect, but uh, these are appearing in two different lines. So to have these things, we could either float this label to the left, uh, but I prefer using Flexbox. So what I'll do is I'll select this parent element, which is this P having this class, and I will create a new selector for this, like that. And I will set the display of this to Flex. So that will automatically uh, arrange the children in columns. Uh, not this. Yeah. Okay, like that. Uh, if you see now, uh, they're not at the same vertical level. And the reason being that this particular label has a line height. So if I set the line height of this to one, you can see that uh, it appears okay, but now the text is really close to each other. So how about I change it to 1.2? Uh, that's okay. I guess, or how about 1.1? Okay, so let's set a line height of 1.1 uh, to this particular entry uh, element. But the problem is that this does not actually have a class or a ID for us to target it. So what we could do is um, grab that class for its parent and inside that is the label right so what we'll do is add a new selector so there is this uh, element having that class and inside that is the label so for this um, CSS selector what we need to do is set the line height and that will be in typography um, line height of 1.1 save it 
come back and reload okay so this is one way of doing it now what if you do not want these labels to appear but instead um, show the placeholders inside these inputs themselves so for that okay so for that um, bill erickson has written uh, shared the code for that you can go to this url that i'm going to share in the corresponding blog post for this video so there you can grab this code and add this as a new snippet when uh, using the code snippets plugin and make sure that you set this on the front end that is all we need to do and once we do this i'm going to activate this okay um, now I'm going to go back to my selectors and for this label uh, I don't think there's a way to disable just a single selector we can I think disable the entire folder but I just want to disable this particular selector CSS so what I'll do is for right now temporarily I'll just go to layout and just uncheck and deselect that okay so now let's uh, go here and reload okay so now we have the placeholders appearing for this input fields but this since we have uh, removed the display uh, for all the labels this also has gone away so this label we have already actually created a CSS selector so I could now just go to its um, go to it and set its display to block. So that would be this particular label. Okay, uh, for this I will set the display to block. And so now we have uh, the placeholders as well as this label appearing. And it says uh, font weight bold. I don't know why the font weight is bold. So we can go, go to typography and set the font weight to normal, which I think is 400. Okay. So cool. So these are the these are the couple of ways in which we can customize uh, the comment form in Oxygen. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.